All right, we're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Spring Mills Cardinals, Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team unfortunately lost last week to Martinsburg 23-6, to but what did you like from your Cardinals? Well, I like the fact that um, um, no matter what the score was, they, they played through to the very end. They, they fought hard. Um, again, just kind of looking at in years prior, we would tuck that approach a little bit different here and kind of fell apart. So just absolutely proud of the way that they fought to the end. And um, and just it's pretty much stayed together as a group there. A lot of people look at that game even before the game, or especially before the game, and say it was a measuring stick game for where your program's at this year. What do you think it showed about your program? Well, I want I want to say it uh, shows like toughness um, and the, the uh, fight for our gifts, the willing to grind. Um, honestly, looking at the game, um, kind of looking back, there's some things we, we could have done that kind of put ourselves in a better situation, but it does give us a chance to go back and look at it and take this week to try to fix some of those things. In that game, it kind of unfortunately seemed like special teams was the biggest issue. I know that was something that you, you've been looking at this year and said it was a strength of your team, but unfortunately, at least in the punt game, it seemed like it was a issue. Have you guys been working on that this week? Yep, absolutely. So, again, uh, just kind of look at those things that we needed. Uh, we spent some time on the punt, really on all our special teams this week, uh, with this bye week here. So, yep, absolutely. As you mentioned, this week a bye week. What has been the approach this week for you guys that you've been taking? Well, honestly, look at the things that we do well and trying to expand on it. Um, again, at the game, there's some things that I thought we could have done better as far as mixing up things a little bit there with our play action. So uh, working on that, uh, making sure our receivers are on the same page with, with Max um, to get our routes and stuff done correctly. And as far as execution, um, that was another thing we've kind of been talking about. How useful is it having the bye week at this point in the season for you guys? It's good. Um, also, it gives us a chance. Um, some guys have had a little bit of nagging injuries. Uh, it gives us a chance to heal up. It gives us a chance to also look at our depth as well as far as getting guys in some different roles, uh, seeing where they can help us out moving forward. But, again, just kind of gives us that week to get some, um, basically get back to the fundamentals and then just get the extra work in there. And with the bye week, Next week, you guys take on Hedgesville for the season finale. Hedgesville has a game this week against Martinsburg, and it will be a neutral game played at your guys' site. Will you guys be in attendance to kind of watch that game? Yeah, I mean, no matter what, I mean, football's football. You know, want to get out there and see some teams kind of go at it. But I think we'll um, kind of get out there and see um, how that game goes as well, given that it's at home. <laughs> I know we'll talk a little bit more about that matchup next week, but what's your mm-hmm. early impressions or early thoughts on Hedgesville? They got athletes. Um, they got athletes. They want to put the ball in space offensively, um, defensively. They they got um, um, the Farrakoff kid. He's there. They got um, Aiden Simling, who's there. To just uh, they make plays. So you got to know where those guys are at all times. Any final thoughts, Coach, on last week or anything else that you want to touch on before I let you go? Um, no, not really. Uh, like I said, just kind of looking at um, things that we need to fix. Um, and guys just kind of put their work in. But that's all that, you know. All right, then we'll get to our fun question for this week and wrap things right. up. Um, fun question this week is, growing up, who was uh, kind of your idol or role model that you looked up to and why? Ooh. I would say Michael Jordan. Uh, again, being in the 90s and stuff, everyone kind of looked at the mic, but I just liked him. The fact that when the game was on the line, the ball was always in his hand. So that's kind of my approach thing. And the way he went about everything, just the professionalism. Uh, and even as a kid, just him always being in that spotlight when it's always in the marriage, something I kind of looked up to. All righty, Coach. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it as always. And talk to you All next right. week. All right. We'll see you then.